Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Mujib, and welcome to another tech video. I can't believe it's 2020 and I have to make a video like this. But without further ado, let's get into it. You open your iPhone and you see a message that says your storage is full and you need to go and delete a couple of things, or you just wanted to check on your storage and you see that you have something that called other that's taking a bunch of space on your iPhone. And like every single iPhone owner, you try to get rid of it and you just cut it. I've seen a lot of video explaining this and I just went through this trouble today and I could not get rid of others. I had to contact Apple and wait for about 30 something minutes for them to pick up the phone, then for me to be transferred to a technical person. And even then the phone call got disconnected. Before I even get into the fix, let me explain to you the problem. The problem is your iPhone is just like a normal computer. It have operating system. It have every single thing that makes it a little mini computer. And every single time you access something, there's something that called cache. It's not the cache that you use. What the cache does is it allows for your apps to be open a lot quicker. Let's say you visit an app before. So the next time you open it up, it doesn't take as much time as it took the first time you open it. That's pretty much all that other stuff is. So storing your pictures, your videos, your favorite website, your favorite apps, every single thing you can ever think of is being stored in that other. If you're not like me, you probably have about like five gigs of other. I had 64 gigs of others storage. I don't know how I accumulate this much. However, it was a major problem because I could not do anything on my iPhone without getting rid of that other. For you to fix this other problem, you'll need to follow two simple steps, just two. And for me, it was a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna explain to you my entire process. Maybe if that's happening to you, you don't have to worry too much. The first thing was my other was causing my phone not being able to back up to my computer or even to iCloud. What I had to do for that to work, I had to reset my entire setting completely. Now, after I reset all my settings, I was allowed to back up all my data. I've seen a lot of video put a lot of emphasis on deleting your browser history or even deleting your browser data. That's not really going to help too much about the other. It's not going to bring down a lot of it. So this is the step. You're going to have to back up your data by iCloud or on your computer. So if you don't have a lot of gigs and you don't want to go into a subscription mode, like pay a dollar per month to get 50 gigs with Apple, you can easily do this on your computer. Then after you do that, you're going to have to reset your phone. I know it sucks, it does, but don't worry. You're not gonna lose any giving data whatsoever. You're not gonna lose any one of your apps. You're not gonna, your phone will be back to the exact same way it was before with all your messages, unread or read. The only benefit to resetting your phone completely is that it will make sure all of these other gigs will go away magically. So you have nothing to worry about. And when you're trying to bring all your apps back, it's very simple. If you restore it from iCloud, you can easily do so. Now remember, if your phone cannot back up, do not go to settings and then go to general and reset all content and settings. Only reset all settings. Reason why it's because if you do reset all content and settings, you're pretty much deleting everything off your phone and your phone will be reset to a brand new phone. However, if you do reset all settings, all it's gonna do is it's gonna bring the phone to the exact same way it was in terms of settings while all of the other apps, messages, every single thing that you have on your phone will remain the exact same. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing and also follow me on Twitch. I stream every single day from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Pacific time. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.